Um, and we are really lucky to have a candidate of Tanya's stature willing to take on this huge challenge. It's, it's a lot of work, um, it's a big challenge, it's not always easy, so thank you for taking this on, Tanya. And I don't think there's a lot more to say, so I'm just going to introduce you to our next state representative in the 91st District, Tanya Fowler. I, um, I can't thank the speakers enough. Um, they, um, they're people that I know and have appreciated, many of them for years. And, and actually looking out here, I mean, I see people um, you know, from my childhood, uh, people from all walks of life, and, and I certainly, I can't thank you enough for being here. Um, I have to tell you, and I've, I've told my advisors this, I really don't like talking about myself. Um, it's um, and they keep saying we have to learn it. It's it's just not it's just not my thing. So um, I'm I'm gonna try to work on it, right, guys? <laughs> That's why I was thinking after they said all this, I thought well, I could just sit down and and, and say thank you. <laughs> but they wouldn't let me. So and I made notes because um, I, I do sometimes forget things. So I anyway, I just appreciate your being here. I know weekends are busy. Um, I heard there was a game uh, or something today, and um, okay, not competing. I know that I, I know that my my dad could probably tell me more, right, Dad? He keeps saying, "I don't know why I had a daughter like Tanya who knows nothing or cares nothing for sports." So, and my advisor has told me that I have to go to sporting events, so he's very happy. So, um, anyway, um, I am I am just so excited to be running as as. A, as a representative for the 91st district, I can't, I mean, it's just, it's so big, it's just hard for me to say. I'm just very excited about it. Um, I thought about it over the last decade or so, and then in the last year, I just thought, this is my time, this is, the time is right. I've been thinking it over for the last, probably the summer and spring, and then I officially filed last week. I cannot emphasize enough that this is really, this is not about me. This is what I hope to be able to do for you and for the people in the, in the district. When I look back at the work that I've done, um, it's always been with other people. Now, I've never been by myself. I've had people with me in, in all different areas who have participated. Um, so I envision that that's going to be the same thing. I, I see this as a team effort. I'm not going to get in there and close my doors and 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 um, you know be doing things on my own. I'm going to want to hear from people. I'm going to want to interact with folks. I want to make sure that I do what is the most important for our district. I, I love where I live. Most of you who know me, you know I live in the house that I grew up in, and uh, that's important to me. Um, I care about people. Um, I've been involved in efforts for years, and I do think that that experience has certainly changed me. I have learned over time um, to respect the fact that people have a right to their own opinion. Um, I like to hear other people's opinions. Uh, sometimes there's more than two sides. There's three, four, and five I want to hear. On the other hand, I do feel that I have very strong principles and values, and any uh, step forward that I take is going to be informed by people as well as the, the principles and the values that I have. But my door will always be open and I want to hear from folks. Um, I, I think it's important to point out that everything that I've been involved with has been with people from both sides of the aisles politically. Uh, it doesn't matter who shows up, we work together to get things done. And I'm hoping to be able to do that in Lansing because I, I have no problem with people who have different viewpoints. I, I'm, I don't get angry and this is one of the things I've learned is anger, you know, certainly anger is a human emotion and it serves important purposes, but I don't want to use it to fuel my work. You know, I don't want to have angry words, I don't want to burn bridges. I want to work with people to actually accomplish things. And I think that I can do that. And I think over time I've learned to, to, um, to really appreciate people's different opinions, uh, appreciate their different politics, and to look for ways that we can agree on common ground to move forward. And we have to do that. We're all in this together.
I first was involved with uh, local environmental cleanup efforts um, when my kids were very young. They weren't even in school. And when I found out about some of the things that were happening in the White Lake area, um, I felt it very strongly. And um, one of my first thoughts was, I have to do something about this because I want to be able to tell my kids that I did something about it. I don't want to let them know, you know, as they're in their 20s or 30s, that gosh, I knew that we had some problems and I chose not to do something. I wanted, that was my first motivation. I want to do something so that you guys know that I cared enough to do something. And um, I also wanted them to know that good things can happen. You can make a difference. We were often a very small group in the White Lake area at different times, working for over 20 years. You know, I wanted my kids to know, and I want people to know that good things can happen if you work hard and you persist and you believe that you can get things done. Um, it was actually, you know, it was actually four years ago, almost to this day, it was October 30th, 2014, that we found out we were off the toxic hot spot list, White Lake, and uh, it was a crowd very similar to this. <laughs> and it, it was interesting. Was it you, Greg, who mentioned that it was my birthday that day? <laughs> Somebody mentioned that it was my birthday and saying happy birthday, and, um, I thought to myself, I would never have a birthday like this or a day like this, but I'll tell you, seeing people here today surpasses that. <laughs> it's, it's almost 30 years since I first got involved and, and wanted to be involved in local cleanup efforts, and I, I sadly, I see more problems than, than I remember seeing when I got started um, a long time ago. And I feel like everything that I care about is at risk. So I, I know a lot of people who are working two and three jobs, uh, have very tight budgets. My budget is, is tight. <laughs> um, uh, I, I experienced this firsthand. I know people who are very concerned about the cost of health care. I actually just paid a bill from, from last fall, just last month, by working a little extra. Um, you know, it's, it's a huge issue, and it was not an issue when I was growing up in my middle class family with teacher parents. It wasn't an issue when I brought my kids up as a single mom, but it's a huge issue now, and we really need to tackle it. I'm concerned about public schools. Um, I've been subbing in the schools the last three years um, and found it just uniquely rewarding just to see the kids. If you ever want to raise your your spirits go into a school and volunteer the kids are just um they're amazing and they say interesting things <laughs> uh, but they also um they just warm your heart and it just it it feels like my antidote to depression to, to be in the schools and see how much the kids are so young and so innocent and so much our future you know, so, so much of what I want to do is for kids. I actually had two middle school boys hug me spontaneously last week. <laughs> and they were just, um, you know, that, that kind of, you know, that, that, that helps you uh, just realize, you know, how important these kids are. They're, they're good kids, and we need to have a good world for them. Even though we had a huge success right here with White Lake, uh, protection for the Great Lakes is under attack. Uh, and we care about the Great Lakes. We know how much it is an economic engine for our state and just the, you know, the source of a, an enormous and wonderful quality of life for us. Okay. I, know, um, I know people care about these issues, and I know there are a lot of different approaches to addressing this, these issues. I'm not going to go through this because I don't want to have you sitting there forever, but I do have them on my website, um, it's my start at looking at what are some of the things we could do to tackle those issues together. But I want to remind you that I am open to ideas. I'm open to information. Um, I want to have productive dialogues with people um, so we can get good solutions that we can all get behind on. Um, I think we need strong, dedicated, and motivated leaders who can work across the aisle. We need to, we need to see this happen in our state again. I am 100% willing to do that. Um, we need to bring back good state government to Michigan. 
My belief is it's not necessarily how big or how little government is, but how good it is at providing its citizens an opportunity to have a happy and prosperous life. Yeah. I would be honored to be one of these leaders with your support. You can trust that I will speak up and speak out on your behalf as I always have done and will continue. Uh, I want to help restore Michigan. I want to work to restore good paying jobs. I want to restore affordable health care. I want to restore support for public education. I would like to restore protection of the Great Lakes. And I want to restore bipartisanship at the state level. I want to most of all right now thank you so much for coming. Yeah. I, I also want to thank the speakers who said such nice things about me. I'll, I'll pay them later, right? <laughs> so, um, but I want to thank uh, David Takitaki, Mary Valentine, um, Sean Malauli, um, I, I don't mind a challenge at all. I don't mind hard work, but this has been a huge and tremendously complicated process uh, getting involved at this level. And without their help, I would not be here today. And I, I appreciate it more than I can say. I also have some very dedicated workers. Joan Scott is the person who has um, designed this beautiful uh, logo and materials. Um, Michelle Colbert is helping, and I appreciate that. And her daughter is our treasurer. Uh, but she's not here because she had to get engaged, right? Uh, so, uh, Tom Duff, uh, Dan Parker, Ali Dennis uh, are on my team. I have a lot of folks on my team, a lot of great people. Jerry Grady is here taking photos. Uh, and Oscar Oswald is, is, is doing the videos. Uh, this is a team effort, and I hope you will be a part of my team. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. And um, you know what? I just can't wait until you are my state representative. <laughs> and um, uh, obviously, I am endorsing Tanya, or I wouldn't be here, but we also have another very special endorsement today. Marsha Hubby Wright, had, when she came in, said that we could announce that she is endorsing Tanya. So thank you very much, Marsha. And, um, and Tanya said it so well that this is a team effort. All of us are required, and I think we all are needed now more than we ever have been before. So uh, before you leave, if you want to make a contribution, there's a contribution box over there. Um, and one way to do that is to make a steady contribution every month, if you can't do it all at one time. And then also, there's a you can sign up to be a, um, a volunteer. And now, I think we all have a game to watch, don't we? Bye-bye. <laughs>